Hey y'all, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel where I review candles that I have in my candle collection. And then today we're gonna do homeworks from QVC candles. These candles created a little bit of a stir in the, at least in my opinion, in the candle community of whether you could smell it or not. And yes, <laughs> it did create a little bit of a stir, I think. I think it's a funny stir, but this just goes to show you that not everybody smells everything the same or like, you know, real can smell stuff that's as strong or as, a, as light as others or different ways. So this definitely goes to prove to you, if you didn't think so, that it does. <coughs> Excuse me. So today I am going to just do all three. I know I usually just do one, but I figured since I have all three, which is very rare for me to have all the same candles in the candle collection at, oh, of one candle collection, usually I get maybe one or two or half or however many there is like this one I originally was just gonna get the banana and be fine with it but then I got suckered in by my own mind and got all three which I'm glad I did just to say that I have them and they are pretty jars they all look the same they all have this really cute hobnob look or hobnail sorry not hobnail hobnob hobnail look I really do like them they all have the same you can see it they're better in the light shining so they all look the same they're obviously all different scents so let's get to each individual candle since i kind of went over i'm not gonna rehash how what every single one looked like because obviously they look the same except for just different colors so i'm just gonna kind of go from the ones i smelt the most to the ones i smelt the least and two of them are pretty much tied for the one i smelt the most so we'll go with those two first and then the last one I will go with the one that smelled the least. Okay, I will start with the one that caused a lot more stir than the other ones. I'm gonna take off the lid real quick just so it won't make so much noise. Okay, so this is banana bread. The scent to this one is fresh banana, ground cinnamon, brown sugar, and vanilla. Um, this one has a yellowish wax, sorry, a yellowish wax camera really doesn't do it do it justice but it is yellowy kind of like a pastel yellow that goes with like the jar right here just to kind of go with it okay so let me tell you about this lovely one so here i'm gonna move the camera a little bit there we go so this one i smelled the banana i smelled the cinnamon in the sugar and maybe a little bit of vanilla but not a lot that's just my opinion um to me this really didn't smell like banana bread i heard a lot of people say it smelled like um bananas foster i think it would go more that way than you know this one. Oh, and if i didn't mention this this is supposed to be like a bakery floral scent or a bakery floral line of candles and so this is just my opinion of all of these because usually i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big floral person but i'm trying to get into it i'm trying to be a floral person but that one's gonna take a while until i am so yeah so i definitely smelt this one okay so just to give you an idea this is probably a 6.5 slash 7 ish i could smell this in my living room in my living room it's I want to say like a medium sized living room. It does have high ceilings. Um, my house is about 2,000 square feet. And I'd say my living room is probably about a, th I want to say around five to 600 square feet of that. And I could, and then it has my attached entryway. And then it leads right into my um, dining room. And usually if it could, if I could smell it in the entryway and dining room, I usually, that's when I give it a 10. But with this one, I'd say about 6.57. I could definitely smell it in the living room. I smell the banana. I smell the ground cinnamon. I smell the um, sugar. I smell the vanilla a little bit. But this one I actually do like, and I'm glad I got this one. So... Okay, next, for the next one, we're going to just move this one back. And here it comes, there we go, that's a little better. This is 
the <clears throat> cherry blossom beignet. And that's it's a more it's a also this one's also a pink wax. It's a light pink, kind of like a soft baby pink, pastel pink, but it doesn't really do it justice on this camera, but you know, it is what it is. So this one has cherry blossoms, baked beignets, ripe, red ripe berries, and vanilla glaze. Well, I can definitely smell with this one. I could smell the beignet, and I could smell the vanilla glaze, and a little bit of berries, but not a lot. I personally cannot smell, while burning, I cannot smell the cherry blossom. Now, on cold, I can smell the cherry blossom all day. But when it's lit and going, nada. But that's okay. Um, and I was actually kind of surprised. I was actually kind of liked the cherry blossom smell, but it was a light one. So maybe I'll get something else that has cherry blossom in it. And yeah. And these are definitely, these candles are definitely good for springtime decorations. Sorry that my hands dry. I got sunburn last weekend and now it's all, you know. <laughs> And so, I know it's random and probably TMI, but, you know, it is what it is. Everybody has it. Has it happened from time to time. So, I really like these. I am decorating with these more than burning them, which is okay. But these will definitely be burnt since I do have two of each of these. Or maybe I'll just give a set, like, one of these to somebody else as a present. Who knows? Okay. Last but not least... So I know a lot of people were iffy about the cherry beignet or cherry blossom beignet, but everybody seemed to really love this one. This one is the blueberry lavender cupcake. So I really do like these lids. I really do like these lids this time. They're really nice. So this one kind of has, I don't want to say blue wax, but it's almost like a purplish wax. It's like if baby blue had a lot more white in it and a little bit of purple in it, if that makes sense. But I like how each of the waxes go along with the co the color of the jars. Okay, so here is blueberry lavender cupcake. It has wild blueberries, um, lavender sprigs, whipped buttercream frosting, and vanilla cupcake. Okay. So with this one, I personally did not smell the wild blueberries or the vanilla when lit. On cold, yes, I could smell it. I really, I, to be honest, the only thing I really smelled was the cupcake. And so I think I need to smell, like, smell this one again, sorry. I need to light this one again because last time I did have it lit for about three to four hours, something like that. So and I, maybe it's just because where I, I, I had it, I had it up on my mantle. And I know sometimes up on my mantle... The smells are, even though if I have my fan going, so it would mix the um, candles. It was, did, no, it was like, nope, not today. Not today. So this one, I would probably give it to me personally. Um, the scent throw would probably be, uh, I'd say a three or a four, at least in my living room. Oh, and I forgot to say with this one, with the cherry blossom, I would give that one probably a uh, 6, 6.5. The strongest, I believe, is the banana one. This yellow one back here. That's just me. And this is my opinion about the um, floral bakery scents from the QVC collection of Homeworks. And would I get them again? Probably not. But I think you should at least try them once. It doesn't hurt. Especially if you like floral or bakery smells. Yeah, that's just me and my opinion on all these three. And I really do like them and I enjoy them. They're really good for Easter two decorations, spring decorations. And so, yeah. And so, yeah, that's my opinion about these three. And until next time, bye guys.